Chaps, I was six. Hi Wayne, how you doing? Evening scaling models with Mike, aka his dad, Mayhem Model Works, Andy, and Panzer Cohen so far over on YouTube. How you doing, chaps? Evening Alistair, how you doing? And is it Murat? I think that's how you pronounce it. How you doing? So I've got a few days off, so I thought here. Yeah, I might as well just go live a little bit and so we'll do a bit more on the old chieftain today for now and tomorrow I'll probably at seven o'clock I'll do a bit on the turpits I need to aqua gloss the turpits before I do any more to it so I better get that sorted at some point but anyway here we go back on the old pan, uh, chieftain that's where we were at last time with our little bit of moves with the clamp and all that malarkey and uh we had all this bit on the tank all the running gear and the bogeys and all that carry on oh just muddle on as you do so going to this the next bit is that bit, putting on the sprocket, the rear bit of the back, and bits and bobs like that. I still not put the wheels on because I want to paint them separate, so here's what it is. Need some glue, there you go. It's been a little while since I've been at the bench again, so it's uh, remembering where I put everything. Hope everyone's enjoying this lovely weather we've been having. Certainly been nice, that's for sure. Makes a change for Scotland, that, that's a definite. So I've got Friday off today from work, so that's how I'm here on a Friday. So all good. So we'll get that glued in. I've put some glue on now outside, but I'm going to put a bit on the inside as well. 
just so it stays together nicely. Have a bit of luck. What's everyone been up to? Anything exciting? The weather's been nice this week. That's because I'm off. <laughs> Been a cracking weather this week. My missus got loads done in the garden while I've been at work. So, all good. <laughs> it's all good. And I found loads of pictures of a walk around on the, the Mark V Chieftain so i can see close up what it's like it's actually very rough i was quite surprised how textured a lot of the tank is so i might have to do a bit of the old ammo mig on it and make the top section a bit rougher texture but we shall see If I do, I'd probably use the 172 scale on this because then it's like a fine texture rather than too coarse. If that makes sense. So there's our, our back bit on. And our little clampy thing still opens up and closes and all that carry on. So still all moves. And the little bogey things, they all still move, so all good. Okay, there we go. I'm starting to put some bits together, I think. So, we have a little brackets here and they go another way I believe on there somehow figure out how they go on can't just sit on there like that sure to good I must have some in there that would just fall off. I'm not the right way around, yeah. Seems a bit wibbly wobbly. Wondering if it's supposed to have a little rubber thing in there or not. Let's have a little quick peek. So most of this week I spent waiting for a delivery. So much for 24 hours. Oh, that's annoying when it says 24 hours. Let's just have a quick look. It's for some reason. Yeah. There's a rubber bit supposed to be in there. And then more rubber bits. Uh, B9. B5. Eight nine so they're in there hmm 
Maybe I'm not picking it hard enough in there. <laughs> ah, that's what it is. I'm not pushed it. That's what it is. Boy, it seemed a bit loose. You've really got to push hard to get it in there. Yeah. See. My missus always says the same thing. Where it turns, see? All good. Right, did you put the poly caps in? Yeah, yeah, I just noticed that when they're in, you have to push it to get it on. So that's what it was, Panzer. Yeah, the poly caps inside the little rubbery things. But that's it on now, so all good. And they don't fall off and they turn, so all good. It just seemed strange there for a minute, and I forgot that then they're on it. So it's a little tight fit. Now, all good. Thought that was strange, but we're good now. And then we've got some more bits here to do. Hi Wendy, how are you? All good, I hope. Uh, evening, Martin and Roger. How you doing, Roger? You all right, pal? Been a while. Right, so we need B sprue. It's just thought I'd just jump on and go live for a little while. Right. B11, I can't see a thing here. So I guess this rod has to go right the way through. I better clean that edge up, otherwise that won't go through at all. So I'll be live again tomorrow at 7 and Sunday as well. And that goes right through apparently. Like that. There you go. The rod there, it's gone right the way through. You see there, look. Let me get that back in now. And, and then we're on them little wheels. I think she just pop on there. Yeah. They pop on there like that. So we'll give them a quick clean up before I put them on. Fred, what has happened to the ice cream van? Not heard it in weeks. I've not seen it in weeks. <laughs> That was ironic that day. It might be round in a little while. I can always get a sound effect of an ice cream van and play it for you if you're that worried, Panzer. <laughs> that was funny that day though. You're all going, I'll have a 99 and that. And I'm like, what's he going on about? And then I realised you could hear the ice cream van. Craziness. Right, we got some silly little grommety things to put on the end. Number eight, I think that's eight. My eyesight's getting really bad. And that's really not helping. I should really clean that. Uh, 
Xbox at once. So I was looking at pictures of the, the chieftain and I noticed that like I was right with a, with a, the actual main loads of wheels kind of bit. They've got like a black line around them but everything else seems to be painted green so that's why I've left them off for a minute. Like Dad Trump can come to expect these little entertainment moments, yeah. <laughs> what paints is it, Dad? Is it the Games Workshop ones, is it? There we go, so we've got our, we've got our little wheels on there as well. And they turn nicely. Cause sure this has got the the bit where you can put a motor on it if you wanted to. So we're definitely starting to look the part now. Got our hooks on that side and our little hooks on that side. Alright, starting to look the part. So that's that bit. The corner of this. Oh, now we're getting some of the fancy bits done. That's our next bit. On the instructions, part seven. Now we're going to play with that now. Ah, oh, the attempt to, to mirror critics. Cool. Is that the acrylics that are not really acrylic? You know what I mean? Yeah, you see this bit here on the on the photographs that I've got of the chieftain. This is all rough as anything. It's like a sandy kind of texture. So I might have to do something with that. And the same on this bit here. It's quite a sandy texture to it. But we're starting to get that big plate on there. I guess that will go on the back there somehow. Oh, what all them bits are. Them bits are supposed to be on there. No. Right, so you got all these weird bits here, look, can you see them? These little sections here, uh, they're like weird kind of brackets, but I think they're there to protect the little sticky out bits that are on the kit. So they all need nipping off. It's quite good that they've done that to be honest, to protect them bits that are sticking out. You know, if that was Airfix, they would just leave it sticking out and if you knocked it off and broke it, you knocked it off and broke it, they wouldn't care. Evening Apple, how you doing fella? Yeah, that's the ones, yeah. The acrylics that are not acrylic. It's great when they say acrylic. I love it when they say it's airbrush ready, but you need to add retarder and, and um, flow improver. It's like, well, it's not airbrush ready then, really, is it? You've got to love all these companies with their comments. Bread days and molding protection parts. Yeah, really clever, mate. I've never seen that before you know normally they just leave them sticking out and 
likes of Airfix would just leave it and if it breaks, it breaks. So, nice to see a company that actually, I don't know, cares a little, if you can call it that. Right. So we've got some weird shit going on here. Oh, we've got some weird ship, I said. <laughs> oh, man. Right, D11. I did say ship if YouTube's watching and moaning. Forgetting my place already. I should do a call in and have a big post it note saying, You are on YouTube, remember. 11. <laughs> yeah, you see, you catch fish on a ship. <laughs> D12. Completely forgot where I was for a moment. I'm normally very good at not to say certain words. D25. Twenty-six. Twenty-eight. Come on, where are you? Twenty five. I'm fine, thanks. Anika and I are just back from walkies and a great day, but now he's misting up. All right. It's been quite nice here. It's, it's all right at the moment, so it was quite foggy the other morning when I was going to work. And I'll put that up there because I'm going to do the two at the same time. Just because we can. I'm just going to pop them there. And the four. Too many hours of trudging through cow ship. Yeah. <laughs> There's plenty of cow ship where I work. <laughs> Hi Dan, how you doing? Just uh messing about trying to Save myself from comments. Right, so this dafty bit goes on here. Like that. I guess. Ah, right, hang on. I'm glad I noticed that. There's a little silly bit that's got to go in the back of it. D8. A little bit there. I'm glad I noticed that because I would never have got that in when that that piece goes in place. So better to do it now. Hi William, how you doing? Yeah, I'm good, thanks, pal. Just muddling along as you do. Don't know what this is. Oh, it's a fire extinguisher, I think. Let make sure I get it right up. Oh, nearly dropped it. Let me make sure I get that the right way round. Right, 
that small. So a little bit goes on there. My dad said a similar thing about cow. <laughs> For some reason, my mum slapped him up at the back of the head. <laughs> I have no idea why. <laughs> right. Yeah, you got a little, a little tiny fire extinguisher to go on the back there. So if I hadn't have put that on. And then I fitted this piece, which goes on there like that. That would have got really awkward to try and put that little bit in. So I'm glad I noticed that now. Otherwise, it would have been a pain. No. I'll work that on now. In fact, I don't have to work that on now or we'll put that little bit on first. We'll dry fit it and see. I've got this silly little bit to put on as well. And I'll put that bit on as well. Because if it falls in, I'll get the ump. Instructions are a wonderful invention. <laughs> Oh, David, you're so right, mate, really. I kind of look at them, but aeroplanes, I, d I don't tend to bother nine times out of ten. But really, on this build, I should, because this is my first tank, and I don't particularly know where everything goes. So I guess looking at the instructions would help a little. You know what we're like, we're all the same. We all just kind of batter in, don't think about it too much until it's something that you don't understand and then you look at the instructions. We don't tend to look at them until then. Hi Muse, how are you? Uh, there's one bit on anyway. Uh, a little bit there, look, you see that? I don't know what it is and what it does, but it's there with a fire extinguisher, I'm guessing, at the back behind it. Now I'm just going to do the same clip on this one on the other side before I do the next bit. And it does say that on the instructions, just for the record. <laughs> I love this Tamir extra thin though. It's really good. I right, make sure I get this on the right way around. Right. Okay. That one. Goes on there like that. Okay, so yeah, that's all right. That way around.
Oh, wait. There you go. You've got a fire extinguisher facing one way and then facing a different way. And then when you just get it into position and then it falls. Evening Ron. How you doing, pal? Just playing with little fire extinguishers and stuff. In a minute. Yeah. Need to click in there. I don't know why they got in there. Well, it's tad first thing this morning is I took the dog to the toilet and now after breakfast turned out nice. Planting some summer bulbs, good stuff. My missus has been doing a lot of that kind of stuff. It used to be me a lot, but she's dealing with most of it at the minute. Now. All good? Oh, I'm wrong fingers and thumbs today. What's going on? Don't they not like me to be fingers and thumbs all the time? Right. We've got another one on there now. With the fire extinguisher facing the front this time. Instead of the side, It'd be fun trying to paint that because I saw it and it's green and it's a different green to everything else, so it should be interesting. Right, whatever this bit is. I'm guessing because these have got straps and whatnot. I'm guessing these are like storage boxes or something. Fred trust the guys are happy with their latest consign consignment. Yes, me. Um, the model club guys are chopped to bits. I can't thank you enough. You know, it's, I say that to everybody that donates to the club. It really makes a difference to the fellas. So. Um, Especially at, at the moment as well, you know, obviously it always makes a big difference to them, but at the current climate, even more so. Some of them are already trying to figure out what they're going to do with them when the time comes. Storage boxes, tanks leave loads of storage. Here's the thing, in pans, all right. <clears throat> you know, like your stowage. 
your packs and all that kind of carry on you know like um tarpaulin wraps and all that kind of thing would the chieftain five would have had things like that tarps and ammo crates and all that lot kind of all over the tank i'll tell you why because i have some and i wouldn't you know it might be good to put some on it i don't know if this one had that or not i would assume it maybe did first toy show in nearly two years tomorrow and i have to work oh dear that's a shame miss we've still got no shows here at the moment um is it a bad thing maybe not with the way things are do we all miss them definitely Yeah, I've got, I don't know where I'll put them. Where did I put them? Yes, bro, those would be located in the baskets. I've got like little 135th resin ammo crates and stuff like that. And um, bag rolls and stuff with straps on and all that kind of carry on. Let me see if I can find them. They're on our website. We do the resin packs. And they're like tarp rolls. I don't know if you can see that very well in this light. Because they're white. But they're like tarp rolls and ammo crates and stuff like that. You can see them on our website. A nice and clear picture of what they are. But I was thinking of adding a couple of bits maybe like that to the to the to the tank you know a bit of stowage all over it we do a few different ones from ballistic turtles so um i wouldn't mind chucking some of them on just to beef it up a little not that i've got any idea what i'm doing in reality so there we go we've got our Storage, whatever they are, bits and bobs on there. Bear in mind that they should not obstruct the vision blocks or the movement of the gun turret. No worries. I did see that there's like big old baskets on the sides hanging off. On the pictures when I was looking, so right, we've got some little finicky bits. Do you like that word? <laughs> it's better than the word I was going to use, right? So we've got D44. Thirty-four, forty-four. No idea what these are. I've got to go on. I didn't they have them stationed in Germany when you was over there. I saw somebody say to me, "Please say to them." I'm not doing it in the camo and I'm going to do it in that like coloured squared different bits all squared it's like a squared camo I've seen pictures of that and I told them no this is my first tank so it's not going to be done that way it's going to be done the what it says on the box maybe if I do another one at a later date I'll do it in the squared when I'm a bit more confident with tanks if I ever get that way. It's 
some Italian guy says to me, I was like, no. Mate, right, that bit, unbelievably, why can they just moulded that in the same shape? Why have I got to glue that on? That's just madness. Yeah, it's like a Digitamo on an aircraft, but bigger squares. Look cool, don't get me wrong. I mean, you know, I see why the guy asked me. And normally, you see, if it was aircraft, I would. I would just go for it. Um, because I've always been like that. I like to be different, but... My first tank, I'm not really going to push it too much. In fact, I'm completing one I'll do. Greg, you need to do a, a Bane Blade. Isn't that one of them things that Colin's doing? Best of Colin. Is that a Bane Blade? I think it is. Greg, your first tank should be done with either the green and black camo or sand and green. Yeah, I'm doing the green and black because I've got the Alclad NATO colours. So, that's what it'll be used. <laughs> Evening, Graham. <laughs> My fingers are drunk again. <laughs> These little dinky bits here. I don't know what these are. These are just kind of weird little little pieces, and they just seem to go along the ridge there for whatever reason. You can tell I'm right into all this. I keep saying malarkey, whatever that is. That bits and bobs. Oh. I don't know what it is. It's it's that bit. Let me get this. It's this piece along here, along the top here, right along here. It's like a ridge on top of a ridge already there. I don't know why they didn't just mould it that way. I guess they thought that we need a little extra challenge while we're going along. They're getting smaller. Definitely getting smaller. Kind of weird. <coughs> Those bits and bobs go along the woozy. What's it? <laughs> That's me too, Fred, about planes and armor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bits and bobs on the woozy bit. That's about it. I'm all right on aircraft, you know. Well, I like to think I am. But this is weird. But good. Weird, but good. Oh, nearly. Um, 
this lot like playing with photo etches. I'm glad I have you guys to help when I get those builds. Oh yeah, Moose, we're always here to help. How helpful will be <laughs> is another question. Like I said, there'll be people watching me going, what's he doing? But. Right. News Freddie Murphy came out on three weeks time for pubs. Cars I understand all the other stuff. But those nope. Yeah. It was tracks that always worried me on tanks. But um Ron when he sent me the kit was very again. Landed on my lap. That's like four times tonight. That no, I've dropped apart. Yeah, Ron, like I was saying, Ron was very kind to get me one with tracks that are not individual links. Which is one of the things that always worried me on these builds when I see people doing them. Which kind of what put me off in the first place. And silly little bits like this that I can't seem to get on in position is another thing that annoys me. He's been giving help out. Don't come for help from me, crikey. I can give you a challenge, tell you to close one eye and build a model. That would be fun. Maybe we should do that. A build where you've got to shut one eye and do the whole entire lot. That would be an interesting build for everyone. Yeah, so we've got our, whatever that is, our little raised bits around the edge there, look, you can see them, whatever it's for. Fred, when you and, and the men said it's opening, any news yet? Um, I heard a rumour, <coughs> um, it might, and it is only a might, some point in May from what I hear but I can't don't quote me on that right this minute because I don't know for sure All right we've got some hooky bits again so we've got a d5 more little bits that would be easy for me is my right eye is about blind yeah same as me Apple yeah it's my right eye too Presents a little challenge here and there. Right, number five. Yeah, I'm hoping May time the model club can carry on again. Um, <clears throat> I've been dishing out the kits to the guys while they're at home, stuck on lockdown and stuff. Um, but that none they all can't wait to go back unfortunately i won't be there during the day because of the new job but the model club will be on in the evenings uh if you go during the day i'll i'll send you a message when the time comes and i'll get you hooked up with steve who i'm leaving in charge 
Um, Steve's brand new, he's a lovely chap. He'll keep you right. Right. See this little hooky bit goes in here. This is what I'm dealing with. Dafty little bits like that. I mean, what's that all about? Fred, I thought that seeing that would be easier for you rather than struggling with the single links. Yes, definitely, Ron, you're a star. Um, but I say the, the single links is one of the reasons why I never bothered with armour because I see everybody crying and shouting and swearing and all that carry on and uh, they have mad jigs to put them all together and I was like you know what I get why they use the metal track links and the individuals I get it because obviously you, you want that sag you know that natural kind of sagging which you can't get any other way but without the single link tracks so I do understand why the guys put themselves through that but just the whole thought of that is um, daunting. And for me, you know, I like to create them kind of looks, but without having the metal links and that, and I couldn't get my head around how that would be possible. Right, I've got some little lighty bits. Whooping. corner this that's six which goes this side and seven that goes on that side my left side is shot so yeah yeah These are going to be fun to paint. Comparing my work to Fred, I think I did most of my work with both eyes shut. <laughs> I don't think so, Dan. That's a thing with us in the hobby. We're all terrible critics of our own work. That's for sure. I can pick faults with every build I do. It's like anything, I say, I suppose. We see tiny things that no one else notices, so. As long as you enjoy it, that's the main thing. There we go. We've got some light. Can you see them, the little lights on there? The little hooky bits. We've got our lights there. We've got a little hook there. And then we've got all this, and then we've done that back right there. All the way down there. Right, let's And that is part seven. That's all that done so far. Evening, Johnny. So, the next bit. Fixing. Upper hole parts B. Yeah. That's a fine fifty four. It's movie night tonight with my pal, so
all right we've got some wonderful little brackets and all sorts of lovely stuff going on and a hat that says do not cement what's that cellophane tape what's that for Tesla film what's that tape for Fasten D39 with cellophane tape temporarily. D39. Oh, it's the hatch. It's saying put a bit of sellotape on the hatch that goes on here. Uh, there. It's saying put a bit of cellophane tape on it to hold it. That ain't going to happen. Don't need to. Right, uh, de -de -de -de. we've got some silly little plastic frames to put on, some sort of ball bar kind of looking thing, and some edging boxing in kind of bits and bobs on the sides. Kind of goes on there. Oh. Okay. Well, that's fifty six. Three F sixteen's heading south. If you hear a noise down south, it's probably them. All oh, right. Cool. They do give you a wonderful picture as well of how it should be looking. Not very clear picture, but. Uh, I guess once that's on there, that'll go on there like that. It's a fair size, that's for sure. And that'll go on there like that. Oh, obviously not just floating like that. And then it'll start to look like that. A big old tank. Yeah, sit on there for a minute. And that'll be like that on the sides. It's got side skirts and all that to put on, so all good. So we've got a fair whack on, really. We got the back on. We got the sprocket and the, the little front wheel on there. And we made a start with this bit. With the front end and the ammo storage or whatever it is. So yeah, I'm pleased with that so far. It's a fair bit done in an hour. I'll watch a film and relax. Maybe have a couple of little nifties. Rum or whiskey or something. Put that out of the way. I mean, there isn't a part. I mean, that's all that's really left. Quite a lot of little bits, and then obviously this bit and the track. So not too bad. My Lancaster's just still sitting here over this bit. It's um not moved. <laughs> Poor thing. She's still just sitting there, as you do. Oh, there's a not the Bombay door again. I'll have to sort that in a minute. Right, where's the mouse? Do do mouse. There we go. Hello, nice and big. So that's it for now. It's definitely starting to look like a tank anyway. Uh, it's going to be interesting painting it all. But it is what it is. I'll probably do 
Um, what colour is it? I think it's green and right. It's like a green and like a sandy colour. So I'll probably paint it all a lighter colour and then do the green after. What's going to be interesting is trying to get them ties to look like that because this they're not like that on the box so i'm gonna to have to put them little sticky out bits on to make it look good um but yeah we'll get there and figure painting which is one of my nightmares so uh that should be quite comical as well when the time comes watch me try and paint some figures so that's it for now uh, tomorrow, what I'll do is I'll try and aqua gloss the the turpits. Sure, I've done the deck effect, wood effect, um, with the AK washes and all that deck deck washes, and uh, the alclad. Can't remember what color it was. I think it was the Israeli sand or something. But uh, I'll aqua gloss that tomorrow during the day so it's dry ready for tomorrow night and at seven o'clock tomorrow we'll get on with with the turpits do a little bit more on that and then we'll probably jump back onto this again on sunday back onto the tank again at seven o'clock so tomorrow and sunday seven o'clock i'll be back so if you're about pop along say hello always good to see everyone so that's it Take care, have a wonderful evening, and uh, enjoy the weather, keep yourself safe and whatnot, and I shall see a lot of you, no doubt, tomorrow, at 7 o'clock, so uh, that's it, I'm going to go and relax, cheers David, you know, it's just me chilling at the bench talking crap, you know using the wrong words like ship <laughs> you know but it is what it is there is a warning at the beginning of my stream because i do tend to forget sometimes so at the end of the day we're all adults so uh no worries moose i'll see you sunday yeah uh so anyway see you tomorrow saturday seven o'clock if not, I'll see you Sunday, whenever. You know where I am. You can message anytime. Um, I'm off for a couple of days, so all good. So take care. Bye for now.